Good morning. I'm Madeline Kerr with your local 10 News update. Calls are growing to help increase awareness and support for people living in the ACT with eating disorders. The Butterfly Foundation is hoping to address a major spike in body image concerns fuelled by social media. And with this year marking two decades of operation, CEO Kevin Barrow says they're widening their scope to tackle the issue head on in regional communities. Meanwhile, it's not too late to snap up a job with the Australian Electoral Commission ahead of and during the upcoming election. There's hundreds, if not thousands, of vacant positions available in the ACT. And depending on the job, the pay ranges from $25.54 to $48.29 per hour. And ACT Police's very own Detective Sergeant Louise Denley has been presented with her Australian Police Medal by the, by the Governor-General at a ceremony last week. This comes after a 36-year career in the force, highlighted by her outstanding service and dedication towards community policing. She is currently the officer in charge of Jervis Bay. Having a look at today's weather map now, rain and possible heavy falls in Canberra, 17 degrees, wet in Goulburn, 16 degrees. More news soon. Good morning, I'm Madeline Kerr with your local 10 News update. A man believed to be aged in his 60s is in hospital with serious injuries this morning after being hit by a van at Coromel between Railway and Russell Streets. Emergency services were called to the scene along the Princess Highway around 6am after reports a pedestrian was struck by a moving vehicle. A new poll has put Labor on course to win a majority government next Saturday. The YouGov survey finding the opposition will win 80 seats, while the coalition will drop down to 63. It follows the final leaders' debate overnight with Scott Morrison and Anthony Albanese facing off on the cost of living, national security and childcare. And it's not too late to snap up a job with the Australian Electoral Commission ahead of and during the upcoming election. There's around 2,000 vacant positions available in the Illawarra. Depending on the job, the pay ranges from $25.54 to $48.29 per hour. Take a look at today's weather map now. Rainy in Wollongong, 21 degrees. 16 and rainy in Goulburn. Now we will get to 19 degrees and also rainy. Same in Batemans Bay, 19 and rainy today. Naruma and Marimbula will be rainy as well, reaching 20 degrees. I'll have more news next hour. I'll see you soon. Good morning, I'm Madeline Kerr with your local 10 News update. The state government has approved the expansion of a copper mine in Cobar. Aurelia Metals has been granted permission to mine new areas in the region until 2035. It's expected to create 140 new jobs during the construction phase. Meanwhile, locals may want to avoid swimming in Burundong Dam. Water New South Wales has issued a red alert for the waterhole southeast of Wellington due to high levels of blue-green algae. It's potentially toxic to humans and pets, with anyone downstream urged to keep a close eye on their water supplies for signs of scum. Having a look at sport now, Waratah's captain, captain coach Adam Skimoni has managed to find the back of the net three times against the Orange CYMS in the Western Premier League. The competition newcomers were no match for the Sky Blues, going down 6-1, with Scamoni's side sitting in second place behind unexpected ladder leaders Panorama FC. The Waratahs are gearing up to take on the Goats in the coming weeks after a well-deserved bye break this weekend. Having a look at today's weather map now, rain in orange, 14 degrees, 19 the top in Dubbo, possible heavy falls, wet in Cowra, 18. More news soon. Good morning, I'm Madeline Kerr with your local 10 News update. Take a look at our top story today and Wagga's Mayor has welcomed the Coalition's huge commitment to upgrade the local airport if it wins the election. It's announced $20 million towards the project. Dallas Tout says he's been calling on other MPs, including Labor's candidate for Riverina, Mark Jefferson, to match the commitment. 
More calls for urgent reform across the Riverina's aged care sector. A number of our providers have echoed the sentiment of community groups calling for change and local voters aren't any different. Eight in ten say that aged care will be an important issue when they cast their ballot in the federal election. A figure which Baptist Care CEO Charles Moore says really highlights the extent of the crisis. And it's not too late to snap up a job with the Australian Electoral Commission ahead of and during the upcoming election. There's still hundreds of vacant positions available in the Riverina, depending on the job. The pay ranges between $25.54 to $48.29 per hour. Take a look at today's weather map now. Rainy right across New South Wales today. In the Riverina, rainy and 19 degrees in Griffith, Wagga, 18 degrees the top temp. I'll have more news next hour. See you soon.